Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about the area formula for any regular polygon. Now this video is basically taken off of one specific example from the video where we solved for sides of missing right triangles. And in that video we asked what is the area of a regular pentagon. Well we want to generalize this to any polygon. So with this first one, we're given this we have a polygon with n number of sides and each side has a side length of s. So we could say, for example, that n equals 6. And so if n equals 6, that means we have a hexagon. There we go. And each side has a length of s. And so what that means is, is that we can break up this hexagon into 12 different right triangles. And so for each right triangle, the base is going to be s over 2. And in this case, since there are 12 triangles, this is going to have, a side, have an angle of 30 degrees. So the way we find the area of any triangle is 1 half base times height. Well, we've got the base. We need the height. So to get that, we'll write tangent of 30 degrees equals the quantity s over 2 divided by h. And we want to solve for h. So we'll multiply h out, so h times tangent of 30 degrees equals s over 2, uh, nope, not divided by anything yet, but we will divide by tangent of 30 degrees. All right. And so we have s over 2 divided by tangent of 30. Now we can rewrite this as s over 2 times cotangent so that we're not dividing 30 degrees. <clears throat> now we would solve this if there are n number of sides in pretty much the exact same way. So let me draw a line here because whoops I forgot one thing. The area of that triangle is 1 half the base which is s over 2 times the height, which is s over 2 times cotangent of 30. And so the area of the hexagon is going to be that number times 12. And so here we have 1 half times s over 2 times s over 2 times cotangent of 30. And so if we that's going to be s squared over 8. And so when we multiply that by 12, what we get is we get 3 halves s squared times cotangent of 30 degrees. Now s is just the side length. But if we have just n number of sides, we have to do a little more. Because I'm not going to try and draw an n side polygon because it could be anything. But what would that triangle look like? Well, the triangle would still have s over 2 as its base. Now, what would that angle be? Well, it would be 360 degrees divided by 2n. Now, why 2n? Well, up here with the hexagon, there were six sides. That's n. But we divided 360 by 12, because that's how many there are here. So when there are n number of sides, we're dividing 360 by 2n. Now, we can simplify that to 180 degrees over n. So when we solve this, we write tangent of 180 degrees over n equals h equals no s over 2 all over h. So this time when we solve it we get h tangent of 180 over n equals s over 2 and so I'm going to divide by tangent but that's the same as multiplying by cotangent. So h equals quantity s over 2 times cotangent of 180 over n. So the area of the triangle is 1 half the base, s over 2, times the height, s over 2, times cotangent of 180 over n. And if we simplify that, that's just going to be s squared over 8 equals times, sorry, cotangent of 180 over n. 
And so if we want the area of the polygon, well, we just multiply that by 2n. So the area is 2n times what we just found, s squared over 8 times cotangent of 180 over n. And so that would simplify. So we have n times s squared over 4 times cotangent of 180 over n. And so there is our formula. Now that's when we are given the side length of the polygon. But in this second example, we're not given a poly we're not given the side length, we're given the length of the apothem. So let's try if n equals 8. Let's look at an octagon. So with an octagon, we have 8 sides. And so when we divide this up, here we have A. And so that means we have 16 triangles. And so when we divide 360, we divide it by 16, and that gives us our angle here of 22.5. So B is our base. So we have tangent of 22.5 degrees equals our base over A. And so what we want to do is we want to solve for the base. So we multiply by A. So we have A times tangent of 22.5 degrees equals our base. So the area of this one triangle is one half the base, which we found was A times tangent of 22.5 degrees times the height, which in this case is the length of the apothem. So we get a squared over 2 times tangent of 22.5 degrees. And so if we want the area of the polygon, well in this case it's 16 times what we just found. So that's a squared over 2 times tangent of 22.5 degrees. And so that simplifies to 8 times a squared tangent of 22.5 degrees. So now, the question is, what if we have n number of triangles? Well, the apothem is still going to be a length of a. And so what is this angle? Well, it's still going to be 360 divided by 2n, or 180 degrees over n. So we still want to find the base. So we have tangent of 180 over n degrees equals b over a. So a times tangent of 180 over n degrees equals b. So when there are n number of triangles, the area of one of those triangles is 1 half the base, which is a tangent of 180 degrees over n times a. Or we just have a squared over 2 times tangent of 180 over n. So to find the area of this entire polygon, we have to multiply that by 2n, because that's how many of these right triangles there are. So we have a squared over 2 times tangent of 180 over n. So the 2's cancel, so we have a squared n times tangent of 180 over n degrees. And so this is what we, this is the area formula we use if we have the apothem length and the number of sides. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click the subscribe button. If you have suggestions or problems you want to see worked out, type a comment below. To support the channel, click the Patreon link to help keep this going. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.